Carl will mark exactly five years since Hurricane Florence made landfall here in the Carolinas. Our Ian Klein tells us how folks here in the Grand Strand are still feeling the impacts. We're talking half a decade later. I pretty much knew based on the rainfall forecast that it was likely going to be a catastrophic flood with catastrophic flood damages. I knew that this was going to be nothing like what we had experienced in the past. April O'Leary was one of thousands to watch her home overtaken by the floodwaters brought on by Hurricane Florence in 2018 for weeks after the storm. For many, the only way they could even check on their homes was by a paddle boat. I was the only one here and I was paddling around people's homes sending them pictures of their homes so they knew exactly how high the water was. Um, we had some issues with theft, so we was just kind of making sure that the, the houses were safe and secure. To give you a better perspective of the impact we felt from Hurricane Florence, where I'm standing was once a house. Now I'm six feet tall, and in 2018, the flood level would have been far over my head when it peaked. In fact, even five years later, you can look around at trees, even the barn behind me, and some of these brick walls. You can still see the water line where it sat, damaging most of the homes, even destroying some, forcing residents to leave. When the waters receded, um, the roads were open, that was when it was just devastating because, you know, families came home, they started to muck their houses, and we had, you know, three, four foot debris piles in front of every single property, down every single road. Since the storm, O'Leary created Horry County Rising, a nonprofit organization focused on addressing flooding issues across the Carolinas. The grief was almost unbearable, and I knew really the only way I was going to be able to get through that is to turn it into something positive and to really learn from this event. And that's why I created Horry County Rising. She says the motivation to become an advocate for those impacted by the flood was sparked when she finally was able to return back to her home and had to watch many of her neighbors start over, unsure of what to do next. It was really to acknowledge what the families and the communities had gone through, um, to be there for one another, to support one another, to create a community where we could be there for each other but also to learn from it and what could we do differently to be more flood resilient. Nearly five years later, O'Leary says she feels Horry County is in a better place than before Hurricane Florence, but no, there's much more that needs to be done. The further we get away from that historical flood, the more difficult it is to get our elected officials to do more to become more resilient. Um, so I would just say that this is something that we need to work on all the time, regardless of when our last flood event was. Um, and that's what Horry County Rising really hopes to, you know, continue to do. In Conway, Ian Klein, WMBF News.